Ya. Ah. Well, <clears throat> well, first, uh, I want to ask you to forgive me because I had not the possibility of preparing the, this talk in the uh, formal way. Well, so <clears throat> uh, I think this is not a big problem because uh, the main ideas I am going to to, to tell you are very simple and I will speak a very short time. I will refer to uh, an, um, a very simple idea that uh, actually uh, in some way the Hawking by constraint uh, temperature uh, and entropy are uh, linked to the uncertainty principle of course, this is uh, uh, this is quite natural because uh, we are joining here um, three fields: general relativity, thermodynamics, and quantum mechanics. So, I uh, what I am going to to uh, tell you is uh, about uh, how to establish this uh, relation with the uncertainty principle. First of all, um, in a usual um, statistical mechanics, um, you find that um, and the uh, average momentum of um, a gas in equilibrium um, is such that um, the it leads to the um, average energy is proportional to the uh, temperature well in the black body formula it is possible to to show that there is some uh, relation between uh, the pressure uh, pardon the momentum and the uh, 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 and the density, I mean, sorry for momentum, then the general and the um, average energy per, uh, in some fixed volume and the average number of particles. This gives, a, a, this gives also a number which is proportional to uh, the third power of temperature. So the average energy per particle is uh, such that once you extract the cubic uh, root in uh, this formula, uh, you get a number which is close to the previous uh, p by k by t divided by the speed of light. This is an approximate um, result. And if we uh, refer um, I mean, to these two cases, first, the um, usual uh, gas, classical gas, and the black body uh, radiation, this average momentum, uh, we get that this average momentum is proportional to temperature. Well, if you uh, think now that um, this average momentum must be of the order of the uncertainty in momentum of a, a particle. And you multiply this by a characteristic length of the system as maybe, for example, in the case of a small black hole, uh, the diameter of this uh, black hole you get uh, immediately the uncertainty relation uh, in the way you see in the in this uh, formula and you easily get a, 
exactly the expression for the hawking Bekenstein temperature. Concerning, uh, well, this is a, a very simple result. Concerning the entropy, if we think um, in, in the system as um, having a constant volume in uh, some interval of time, you may get easily the, the entropy if you know the temperature and uh, you get uh, the, an expression which uh, serves to be combined with the previous one and to get any relation, any relation which uh, uh, is seen here. I mean, the entropy is proportional here to the surface of the black hole multiplied by k and divided by the by the Planck area. I mean the area of a, um, the, the surface area of the Planck particle. So <clears throat> the entropy uh, um, measure here the um, number of the quotient between the surface of the black hole divided by the uh, unit uh, surface which given by the Planck uh, 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 particle and multiplied by uh, K in such a way that uh, the units are uh, safe. So this uh, provides uh, um, also a very well-known formula in in this case and uh, obtain it uh, straightforward. So I, I insist that what we are doing is uh, nothing essentially new, but we are looking to a well-known problem from a different point point of view. And we take the, the, our attention now to make some calculations. So first, uh, we want to establish some sort of uh, uh, linear equation between the mass and the temperature of the black body, of, of, of the black hole, and its temperature. Uh, it is needed to recall here, I forgot to tell you, you at the beginning that, as you know, this is not the temperature of, uh, measured by an external observer, which is completely different from this uh, hawking Bekenstein temperature, or maybe completely different. Uh, here, we find the uh, we confirm the interesting uh, results that uh, small black holes are hotter. They uh, have uh, much higher temperature than big black holes. And we have the calculation here for three systems. For instance, the Earth, the Earth using the Earth mass, we calculate the Schwarzschild radius, which is of the order of half one centimeter, and this leads to a temperature which is a little bit above the zero Kelvin. I mean, 37, um, uh, 37 by 10 to minus three. If you, uh, if we think about uh, the moon mass and perform the similar calculation we get a temperature of three Kelvin degrees for the a black hole corresponding to the moon. And for instance, if, you, if we consider Phobos, the Martian satellite, we get a very high temperature near the order of the sun center, 10 to the seven power. I mean, uh, it is a very, very hot 
system. But the uh, but the uh, um, gravitational radius of this uh, uh, Phobos mass is uh, very close to one, one angstrom. It's extremely small. Well, so uh, I emphasize that this uh, correspondence uh, is very interesting, mainly in some interval of uh, magnitudes. Uh, I think that all this may, can be generalized and considered uh, some variations um, of this uh, correspondence, no? And uh, uh, at the end, I want to stress that this, uh, what I have said uh, to you today uh, in these uh, few minutes, actually is very easy to obtain plain simply with the uh, hawking Bekenstein formula. Remember that I have not considered a rotating black hole nor uh, any other ex external field related to it. So thanks very much and uh, I conclude my talk. Please.